1846, that was passed to build a bridge on this site to link the new suburb of Battersea and the new Battersea part of Chelsea. It was opened in 1858 by Queen Victoria and named Victoria Bridge. However, doubts were soon raised about the safety of the suspension design and the royal family were quick to disassociate themselves with the bridge, renaming it Chelsea Bridge. A second bridge was opened on the site in 1937, another suspension design, but the first in Britain to be self-anchored. From the 1950s, motorcycle gangs began to meet on the bridge to race. Violence broke out between rival gangs in 1970, resulting in the fatal shooting of one and the imprisonment of 20 others. When the current Chelsea Bridge was being constructed, Battersea Power Station had just opened and dominated most views of the area. As a result, it was decided that the bridge's appearance was unimportant. Despite this, the bridge is still very nice to look at, especially at night when it's illuminated by LED lighting. In the 1970s, the bridge was painted red and white, which angered Chelsea football fans who claimed it was painted in Arsenal colours. This was resolved in 2007 when the bridge was repainted in red, white and blue. A self-anchored bridge works by countering the tension forces in the cable with compressive forces in the bridge deck, reducing the loads in the foundations, which was particularly valuable considering the bridge was built on soft London clay. It was Britain's first, although it still remains one of only a handful in the country. Impressively, the bridge was completed five months ahead of schedule and within budget. The first Chelsea Bridge opened in 1858, with the current one opening in 1937. There are 215 metres of river to cross here. The clearance is 10.1 metres. And there are two piers in the water, making three spans. 61,000 people cross the bridge every day. Accompanied by 22,600 tonnes of freight. What do you think of this bridge? Rate it by clicking on the link in the description. And you will contribute to the popularity rating of the trump card. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.